Let's bring in Liberal MP for Queensland seat of Fairfax, Ted O'Brien. Thanks for joining us, Ted. Uh, you don't know what the Nats are going to demand you, from your own party, your own Prime Minister, as a, as a condition for supporting net zero by 2050. Do you think perhaps they might ask for the consideration of nuclear energy? Oh, Chris, it, it takes a very brave person to try to double-guess what, uh, what the Nats might do in their own party room. They are terrific coalition partners, and thank God we have them. Will they seek to uh, put uh, nuclear higher up on the agenda? Don't know. Uh, wouldn't surprise me. Uh, thankfully, we do have small modular reactors now in that technology investment roadmap for a 2030 world, so that's good. Um, but let's wait to see what they push for. Certainly a lot of the National Party MPs and Senators have been terrific supporters of the prospect of nuclear energy. Well, I'll just and come back so to nuclear they may in a indeed second. be putting that on the agenda. Is it not humiliating for the Prime Minister and for the Liberal Party to be publicly committed to... wanting to commit to net zero by 2050, whatever people think of that, but having this list of demands dropped on them by the National Party, the junior coalition partner? No, Chris, I don't think it is. I think most people who follow politics in Australia knows that we are a coalition. There is a Liberal Party and a National Party um, and we work together and, and that's just the, the way the world works. Um, thankfully, the conservative side of politics is so different from the left, from Labor, where it's, it's, a, it's a command um, type of a party where everybody has to work in lockstep. On the conservative side, we love healthy debate. That's what it's all about. We debate within the Liberal Party and we don't hide from that, as do the National Party. And then when the Libs and Nats get together, um, we share a common set of values and at times we have to negotiate between the parties. I, I think those who love democracy like to see that in action. I don't think it's a negative, I think it's a positive. Right, Ted, let's talk about nuclear energy, completely outlawed under federal law at the moment and st some state laws. You've looked at this through parliamentary inquiries. Is it time for the government to take some action, at least to get rid of that legislative ban federally? Chris, you're right. It's that moratorium that is currently on that has to be removed. It is illegal to progress nuclear energy in Australia and the first step is to lift the moratorium. The challenge is, though, you can't effectively lift the moratorium without the Labor Party. It has to be bipartisan. And the reason for that is this. The parliamentary inquiry I chaired showed that the single biggest prerequisite for nuclear energy across the world, not just in Australia, is a social licence. And until, therefore, Albanese and Labor stand with the coalition to lift that moratorium, um, unfortunately, it would result in a big negative campaign and set the, uh, the cause back, not forward. Uh, that, that's the challenge we have. Um, I want to see that moratorium lifted so it can be fairly considered, but we need the Labor Party at the table. Yeah, do you have any overtures from uh, those in the Labor Party? There have been some loud voices in the past. The late Bob Hawke was a, a, a loud advocate for nuclear power in his latter years. Chris, look, I, I think there are a lot of people being quiet in the Labor Party who are dying for this. A lot of the unions want it. Um, a lot of the organisational leaders want it. Um, I believe but have not spoken to Bill Shorten and Joel Fitzgibbon on this, but I believe they are very supportive, uh, possibly Richard Miles. But again, it's the Labor Party. They'll stay quiet. Unlike the Conservative side, they won't have the robust debate. Uh, they will just do what the boss says. Um, we will see. The Australian Workers' Union has come out, a very powerful right-wing union, so that uh, counts for something on the Labor side of politics. Thanks for joining us, Ted. Pleasure, Chris. All the best.